Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. Today is August the 23rd. I'm brought to you by Hope Through Navigation, and this is our Hood Recovery Services. I am looking forward to doing your spiritual principle day in a meditation for August 23rd. If you need to reach me, feel free to do so at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the meditation. I still have the same headache. It hasn't gone anywhere. <laughs> uh, so I'm hoping that as I get moving around, things will get a bit better. Uh, today is August 23rd, and it is entitled Striving for Emotional Maturity. Emotional maturity is our reward for letting go of anger and resentment. Living Clean Chapter 7, Principles, Practice, and perspective. Perhaps we've all encountered circumstances when another member gets on our last nerve. When that happens, sometimes it takes everything in us not to attack them, mock them, shut them down using whatever tactic we can. We may want to bolt from the room because we see how this person, who may or may not have wronged us in some way, enjoys the respect of other members in the group. We want to expose them as a fraud and a hypocrite, but we don't. We say something because we know our personal, we say nothing, excuse me, that's a big difference. We say nothing because we know our personal feelings about another member should play no role in how, for instance, our area contributes to the region's fellowship development efforts. At other business meetings, we'll have no problem keeping our mouths shut because we'd much rather roll our eyes and smugly watch the same two members battle it out like they always do over the finer points of coordinating an effective public relations campaign. In those situations, we have to stop ourselves from sharing the eye roll with everyone else in the room, revealing our displeasure with the proceedings. We love to break our silence by audibly groaning at how much time they are taking up. A member shared, the second I start thinking about how I'm the only adult in the room, I know I'm not coming from a place of emotional maturity. With some practice, we can learn to check ourselves in situations where previously the monster that lives in our head would have burst out in full force in an effort to kill the, the proceedings. Similarly, we find a way to restrain our inner adolescent who would snark, scoff, and snipe at members merely for being themselves. Emotional maturity may not sound like a big enough award, reward for not acting out on our character defects, but doesn't it make our lives so much more manageable and peaceful? And isn't that a big part of why we came here in the first place? I will practice reining in my reactiveness in situations where my personal feelings about other members serve no relevant purpose. Today, emotional maturity is a, is a reasonable reward for those efforts. Phew. I believe that this, this uh, reading is not going to help everyone but it should. If you are in the rooms of Narcotics Anonymous or you are in any association, you're a member of any association, um, any fellowship, even including church or your friends that you worship with, if you are a part of a group, surely you will be able to benefit from this reading because this is talking about having uh, those two sides of us at at force working when we're sitting there listening or participating we seem to have that good side and then we seem to have that 
not so good side. We have that part of us that wants to snark, snipe at people, roll our eyes, sigh and disgust, make sure that someone nearby can see and tell that we are not happy with what is going on. And then there's that other side of us that says, you know what? This is really, if it was any other person, I would be able to listen without all of this reaction. I would be able to just listen and go about my day. But because it's so-and-so and because I have a, a bad history or some history with them, then now all of a sudden I want to make sure everyone knows that I'm I'm not standing with this. We're being very immature. So here we're talking about striving for emotional maturity. And it is a reward for letting go of anger and resentment. Because a lot of times when we're sitting in that atmosphere, and I, I was just on a meeting the other day on Zoom, and I was irritated by the host. I was irritated. They just seem to be a little bit too laid back about the process of actually chairing a meeting on that type of platform. And I granted, I could tell that they were new at it, but I I was irritated. And when I realized, and I knew I was all I was on video, but when I realized that my Facial expressions were way disproportionate to the situation. I said, oh, you know what? Girl, you tired. You need to come off video because that makes no sense. You don't know this child. You don't know her. You don't have a relationship with her. She's just like you trying to serve this meeting and do some service work. And you have the audacity to sit here and pay that much attention to everything that she's saying and doing. Are you for real? No, no, no. That's not how we get down. That's not how we're doing this. No, no, no. We're way past that. We're we're not snarking. We're not rolling our eyes. We're not. No, this isn't a, a live mighty stream show where everybody can pin your face and see every reaction. No, I went straight off video and I didn't have a problem sitting there listening. I was much better and so were they. I contributed in that situation. I contributed to the atmosphere of recovery by going off video because I was in a funk. You ever been in a funk and everybody is going to know that you're in the funk? You are being emotionally immature. Even if what you went through is you have, you're justified in your reaction. Dragging other people into it is not okay. It's not okay. And this is talking about service work and going to meetings and just being able to be present. It doesn't mean that you don't have an opinion. It does not mean that you are a doormat. It means that you understand that there is a system to expressing how you feel about something. Right? And the the sniper shares and the attitude no one needs that that's not contributing to the atmosphere of recovery so today let's be thinking about how we can rein in our reactiveness in situations where we might normally not not try to consider it it's just who we are uh, we're making other people pay for being themselves. It sounds kind of pouty, pouty and temper tantrumish, right? <laughs> so today we're not going to do that. And we're going to practice not doing it on a regular basis. I don't, I don't know if you're that type of person or not, but if you are, and I'm sure we all have those snickerty moments, right? We're going to practice on not being that person anymore right? And the reward, the reward comes from having one of those um, states of mind that is peaceful. But a lot of it is work. It's more work than people think because you find and realize that you have a resentment 
you you're angry about something, you know, and that's really, uh, excuse me, that really is not who we are. That's not who we're trying to be. And it definitely is not why we're here. We're here to allow God to uh, reveal to us our character defects and remove from us our shortcomings and have a more peaceful, loving and kind, gentler way of living that is embraceable, is uh, communal, it, it loves others and it receives love, right? That's what we want. So I want to thank you for uh, putting up with me today <laughs> with my headache. It's still, it feels like one of those migraine headaches. Um, yeah, it seems like it might be a bit of a long day with that, um, but I am just grateful. I'm going to put on some walking shoes I cannot walk far still, um, but I am going to try to walk up to the end of this block and come back on my own. Um, one of my boys went me w went with me the other day, and um, yeah, it was a bit of a task, but I think three days later, I should be able to go out there, and we're going to see. We're going to see if some fresh air uh, changes the game for me today, uh, and then I'll get busy with all of the school work, and I have some commitments to some very special people, um, and so I want to pour my energy into those projects. May you have a beautiful day. I've enjoyed talking to you as always, and I will be talking to you tomorrow.